Hey everyone and welcome to LOL Diary. I'm Kitcha, the host for this show, and I'm so excited to make this video about Talia. I've been hyping her ever since she was announced, reading all of these novels that Riot released, and since I'm a one-trick queen player, I figured that her roaming kit would suit me a lot. And guess what? I love her, but I'm also really really bad with her, and statistically speaking, I'm not alone. Talia currently has the lowest win rate in every single lane. That's just absurd. So this video will cover my first impressions with Talia and whether she's yay or nay. Let's go. So Talia is a control mage, whose job is to basically manipulate where the enemies are positioned, especially in teamfights. And she's freaking good at it. She has a lot of base damage, movement speed, a knockback towards her desired direction, a field of anti-dash landmines, and an ultimate which creates a freaking wall. She is the playmaker of playmakers, and seriously now, she's one of the funniest champions I've ever played. You always feel like you can make a difference in any given situation. So why all the low win rates? Well first of all she's extremely skill shot based and missing your skills is really punishable and I've noticed in higher elo that even if you mess up a little bit you will get punished which is incredibly hard when she's all about predicting your opponent's movements. And while she's incredibly mechanically intense, she also requires a huge amount of game knowledge. You have to know when you're going to ult in somewhere, when you're going to engage, disengage, and sure, every champ can make mistakes. But the tricky part with Talia is that a mistake with her will not only shoot you in the foot, as much as you have the potential to solo carry games, you also have the potential to totally ruin your own team. Whether we're speaking misplaced wall or accidentally knocking back the enemy tank into your team. The keyword here is responsibility, coupled with the fact that nobody really knows how to play her yet. Even now, many of your opponents won't know how to exactly deal with Talia, but worse yet, neither will your team. But at the same time, for every game I've been playing, I've been improving little by little, and in my latest games when my pre-made friend has said, oh shit Kisha, that ultimate was so freaking good, wow you made some serious plays with her, man it feels rewarding. So to answer the question, is Talia yay or nay? I'm definitely saying yay. I think Riot has completely succeeded in giving her a unique identity, even though League already has so many champions. And while I definitely think that she deserves a little buff, I think she's in a perfect position to be one of the biggest playmakers in the whole League of Legends. She's a high risk, high reward champion to pick up. One that will take a lot of time to master, but I can already see the frustration in my enemy teams the day I finally mastered her. And those are my first impressions. I'll probably make a new Talia video once I figured her out a little bit better. And that's it for the video this week. Leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike in case you didn't like it, it's totally fair. But either way leave a comment, I love reading comments. And feel free to subscribe to keep tab of all the Sunday videos coming your way. And with that being said, until next time, stick to the plan viewers.